My word is simple, and it is a delight to live according to it. Where every day you are grateful for the eternal life that God has given you. And when you wake up, or before you go to sleep, you give thanks to your Lord Melchizedek Lisbeth, and always asking for others so that they may also be saved from physical death. And not only do you ask that they are saved, but you also save them with your living testimony. Do not take this treasure that I have given you and hide it, but rather show it proudly to the world. That is, if you truly love me and are grateful for the life I have given you. Do not be like the evil and negligent servant who is afraid and hides the treasure I have given him in the ground, your mind, and does not multiply it, knowing that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed, because he who trusts in me completely will not be ashamed. As I have told you, speak, and Melchizedek Lisbet will take care of the rest. And do not just talk. May your actions be of good proceeding. Always seeking peace. That should be your constant thought, to seek peace, not to fight, but to always be a peacemaker, not scheming and sowing division. Let others see how you always bring peace to your family, to your workplace, to your co-workers, that you do not live seeing things according to the eyes of the flesh, but with compassion towards others, showing how pure and genuine love overcomes everything. And that is the most powerful weapon that God Melchizedek Lisbeth have given you. If you are wise, just as the Lord is wise, you would ask your spiritual parents every day so that everything and everyone you deal with in life be pleasant and amicable. A wise child of Melchizedek Lisbeth uses this treasure we have given them wisely and to everyone's benefit, always looking for peace. Use it well so that your days are not shortened because everything depends on what you sow, your health, your prosperity, your well-being, and your eternal life. Do not let your bad temper, bad judgment, and your poisonous tongue undervalue everything I have given you, always saying negative or humiliating things out of your mouth about others, instead of saying things that are nice and positive, because this will separate you from me in the mind, and it will also separate you from those who see and listen to you as well, and they will say that your God teaches you bad things and will not want to come to me. I did not bring you to the promised land to be the same person you were before, because here the reaping is with promptitude. That is why I urge you to sow well, so that you will always reap the best for yourself and for your family and for everyone around you. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah.